Should President Joe Biden's pause on LNG export permits be lifted? That controversial question was argued on behalf of 16 states in U.S. District Court in Lake Charles this afternoon. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Arsenault. The lively argument before federal district judge James Kane went on for two hours between two out-of-state attorneys, one representing the states and another representing the Biden administration. KPLC's Teresa Schmidt reports the judge has not yet issued a ruling. 16 states, including Louisiana and Texas, and as far away as Alaska, joined together in a lawsuit aimed at getting the Biden administration's ban on LNG export permits lifted. A special solicitor general from Texas represented the states and argued the pause is illegal, unconstitutional, and harms the states by reducing production of natural gas and revenues such as severance taxes. She also argued a local LNG company Commonwealth was planning to start construction this summer and that the ban would delay at least 12 months. However, an attorney for the Biden administration and the Department of Energy defended the LNG permit pause, arguing it doesn't actually stop the review of the permit applications, but only prevents a final decision, which begs the question, what effect would lifting the pause have? So far, the federal government has never denied such a permit. Judge James Kane said the pause seemed to bring the permitting process to a screeching halt, like shutting down the interstate highway while deciding whether to widen it, and said he had a serious problem with that. But the Biden administration attorney insisted the process continues and only delays a decision. If so, the judge questions why they even issued a pause or ban in the first place if it's not affecting the permit review process. After two hours worth of hearing arguments, the judge said he wants to do more research and will rule sometime in the future. Teresa Schmidt, 7 News. Neither of the attorneys would consent to an interview saying they had planes to catch. No word yet on when Judge Kane may issue a ruling.